Welcome back to Rockbell Ranch. My name is Melissa. Ten baby chicks hatched yesterday. So it is time now today to get them in their brooder and all ready to start growing. Let me show you guys what I have set up so far. So down here I have my brooder, my brooder box, the heat lamp, um, We've got food and water right there, some pine shavings for bedding, and I'm going to go get the chicks and put them in. But real quick before I do that, I want to show you guys the peppers and the tomatoes because they are looking amazing. I planted them March 5th and today is April 14th and they are looking beautiful. Down here we've got all of the tomatoes. They got way too big to fit in here with the peppers, and even the peppers are due to come out here soon. Look how beautiful all my tomatoes look. Here are the orange cherry tomatoes. The striped paste. And... A whole bunch of other tomatoes. Back there, I believe, are the bicolor cherries. They got really tall. So exciting, guys. And here is the orange sun bell peppers. I had to restart a tray because I only got one to germinate from my last effort. So I had to do another tray, but this time they all germinated. Very nice. And up here, whew, we've got the jalapenos and the bananas. And the Cali Wonder. The Bell Mix back there. And the Chocolate Beauties. Looking gorgeous. My goodness, these baby chicks are so cute. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, there's a lot of little yellow ones and three that have some color on them. The three that have color are half Salmon Favrola, because that's what my roosters were. And their mom is my white Americana that lays really pretty blue green eggs. And I'm excited to see what these little Americana Salmon Favrola mix babies turn out to look like. They're really cute. I like the color on them. Oh, and a really interesting thing about Salmon Favrola. This one's not a purebred. So, it only has four toes on each foot because it's half Americana. But the Salmon Favrola have an extra toe. Look how cute. So they have five toes on each foot. We 
can't wait to see these little guys grow up. And I'm really hoping for a lot of hens. No roosters. Well, I need one rooster, but boy, could I use some more hens. I'm just so excited. This is my first time hatching my own eggs from my hens. This is the start of me building my own salmon favrola flock. So I can't wait to see these little ones grow. In a couple days, I should be able to sex them by their feather growth on their wings. And maybe be able to give you guys a number on how many roosters I end up with this time. I usually end up with a lot of roosters when I hatch babies. But fingers crossed for hens. And I'm going to do a bunny update soon because we had some things change in the rabbitry recently. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. Uh, until next time, bye friends!